All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we'll be going over Ace Adity uh, printer filament and their Flash PLA Plus uh, filament to be exact. Now, they sent me a free roll of their filament, but they haven't compensated me or had any editorial control over this video. So I thought what would be cool for today is we'll go ahead and print a Benchy without changing any of the settings to see how it runs right out of the box. Now, the reason that you may want to buy Ace Adity Flash PLA Plus is because it is meant for high-speed filament. We'll see that in the website review in a little bit. So we will print the Benchy in sport mode and see how it reacts to that. After we get done with the Benchy torture test, then we, we will go ahead and calibrate the filament and see how far off of the generic settings it is whenever it calibrates. Lastly, after it's calibrated, we'll go ahead and print one of our sample filaments to put on the shelf behind me here. So... If all that sounds good, then sit back and relax and I'll get everything ready. All right, and if you haven't done so, go ahead and print out um, some of these rings for the cardboard filament uh, spools. Um, so these are really easy to put on. You just kind of stretch it over, um, but make sure that you have a couple of sets of these. So if you do get some filament that's in the cardboard um, filament spool, that you can go ahead and put these in there so it works a little bit better in the AMS. All right, now that we have it unboxed, we are on the website for Ace Adity here with their Flash PLA Plus. Uh, so the first question that I had is, what is their you know special thing? What is what is Flash PLA Plus mean? What is all? What's the point of buying their filament over other filaments? So what they're claiming is it is designed and uh, meant for high speed printing. So high fluidity, uh, fast cooling, um, high melting, great toughness is what they're saying in here. No tangling bubbles, clogging, less warping and everything like that. So um, and also eco eco friendly design material with the uh, carbon spools and our uh, cardboard spools and everything like that. So really it's uh, the reason why you would buy this is for high speed printing now does that mean that it's better than anything else just because they say that i don't know um but we'll definitely find out today um we'll print the first benchy at uh, not ludicrous speed but at sport speed which is right around the, i think the 300 millimeters per second squared that they're claiming here so we will print the uh, benchy at high speed and see what that does for us all right, so if you're interested in Ace Adity, I will leave a link in the description, and they do have discounts on six rolls, and they have uh, 3D resin, and they have a few different types of uh, filament here, so PETG, and then a couple of different dual color, tri-color, and rainbow colored uh, PLA. All right, so here we are in Bamboo Studio, and you'll see that we have the generic PLA loaded right up here. I haven't changed any of the settings yet. We will do the calibration here in a minute, but I haven't changed any of these settings or done anything to it at all. Uh, my setup, the only things that I change in here are no support, and I take out the auto brim. Um, I do have a different flushing volume here, but that doesn't matter because we're not doing a multicolor print, so it won't be doing any of the flushing like that. Um, so lots of people ask about the settings. So for right now, we're just printing directly out of the box. This is one of the benefits of the whole ecosystem with bamboo is even the generic filament. Uh, most of the time, and we'll see most of the time, right out of the box, it can print just fine. And especially if you let it do the flow or the calibration in the beginning of the print as well. So let's go ahead and slice it 
and see how long it's going to take to print. And we'll see a little bit over an hour, almost an hour and 20 minutes. Um, so I will be speeding it up and putting it in sport mode. So we'll see how it prints with that. Since they claim that it's meant for high speed printing, we'll go ahead and do the test at a higher speed and, um, I'll see you when it gets done. All right, so as you see, the Benchy printed out just fine. There's no stringing, no gaps, no errors. Uh, printed out just fine without any of the calibration. So let's go ahead and get it calibrated. All right, now that our Benchy has printed, let's go ahead and do the calibration um, so that we can at least skip this step at the beginning of each print. So you don't have to calibrate your filament, but the benefit of doing it is you can skip the uh, calibration in the beginning here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and go to calibration, auto calibration. We are using the 0.4 millimeter nozzle. We are using the cool plate. We don't wanna do all of them. We just want to do this one here. So we'll go ahead and hit calibrate. And I'll see you when it gets done. All right, now it's done with the first calibration, the flow dynamics calibration. So we'll go ahead and hit next. And it shows the factor K.021. And we need to name this to save it. So we'll name it Ace Addity Flash PLA Plus. Let me fix that. So now this will send this to the printer. And um, whenever I load filament from Ace Adity, I can go ahead and select this and it'll transfer this factor K to it. So we'll go ahead and hit finish and you'll see that it's been saved to the printer. So now let's go into the flow rate calibration, which is just over here. We'll do the auto calibration as well. The 0.4 millimeter plate or nozzle, the cool plate, and we'll be doing the generic PLA here. And remember that this calibration will show up in our normal uh, slicer settings over here. So let's go ahead and hit calibrate and I'll see you when it gets done. All right, so now the flow rate calibration is done. We'll go ahead and hit next. We'll see that it's 0.956, and we'll go ahead and name this filament as well. And this is the one that will be added to the slicer. We'll go ahead and hit finish. And now we'll see when we come back over here that it changed the name to the Ace Adity Flash PLA Plus, and it'll also save it in there for us to select in the future. So let me go ahead and get our filament sample loaded and we'll go ahead and get that printed out. All right, so now that we have our filament sample loaded, we'll go ahead and get it printed out. We have everything calibrated, so we'll go ahead and hit slice plate. And we'll see, we have two times here since we've done this calibration already and saved that to the filament. We won't need to do that anymore. So we will save the time. So uh, your printing time after you do calibration will be on the lower end of this. And that is one of the benefits of doing this. It does save five or six minutes, seven minutes, whatever it happens to be at the beginning of every print. So now when I hit print, I can uncheck the flow dynamics calibration because we've already done that and we already saved it to the printer. So now everything else is ready to go. So let's go ahead and get it printed. All 
All right, so as you can see, it printed out great. And I am really, really impressed with the filament. Now, as far as their high speed claims, at least in sport mode, everything printed fine. It was very, very easy to calibrate. The calibration wasn't that far off from the generic and um, everything came out um, very well. You know, there's no ridges or anything like that. Everything's very, very smooth on here. So I was very, very um, impressed with that. So hopefully this video helped you out. If you have been looking at Ace Adity uh, filaments, um, they're definitely uh, very good quality filaments and I do recommend them. And if you did like today's video and you wanna see more from Ace Adity, smash that like button below and leave a comment letting them know to send me some more stuff. So they did ask if I'd like to test some more stuff, so let's let them know in the comments below. So be sure to smash that like button Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my weekly videos. And I hope everybody has a great week. Thank you for watching.